Ruger Super Black Hawk 44 Magnum. 44 Magnum. Six shots, pure power. Bullseye! Get out! Ooh, I pulled it. Ooh, golly, you're getting worse. All right, this is my Ruger 44 Magnum. I know you all heard me talk about having a, being able to reload 44 Special and 44 Magnum. This is the gun that I shoot it out of. This is a real nice firearm, but it has a few things I like and a few things that I don't like. This one here has the seven and a half inch barrel on it. It's just an all around real pretty gun. I like the way it looks. Uh, this firearm here, I had to get new grips for it. When I bought the new grips, the grips didn't fit. Come to find out, uh, this gun was probably made in 2002, I guess, 2001. Well, somewhere in there, they changed the frame size or they did something different. Maybe somebody can comment in and let me know because I'm not a Ruger expert. You know, I just have fun with them. I don't find all the if, ands, what's, or buts about the firearm. But the grips didn't fit. So, Come to find out, I guess they changed the frame size because this is a bigger frame than the, the new uh, Blackhawks, Super Blackhawks. Because of that, I had to find some new grips. Well, I finally found the grips to fit it, and the reason why is because the frame size was a little different, and I didn't know that. So I guess this is a little heavier frame. I guess back in the old days, they made them a little bigger. You know, things I like about this gun is, is I like the 44 Magnum. Um, I'd prefer to shoot the 44 Special in it, not the 44 Magnums. The 44 Magnums is just a little too hot around just to be planking with. But you know, this gun works great on a deer or hogs. It can be used for either. It can be also just used for, for target shooting, but I wouldn't recommend it for that. Some things that I don't like about it is this, is this pointy, sharp trigger guard. <laughs> Uh, if I had to buy one of these again, I would buy the Be the Beasley model, Bix Bixby model. I'm not for sure what, what it's called, but it has a round trigger guard. I do not like this this trigger guard. Th these edges on this trigger guard right here are sharp. And when it, whenever you shoot it, it will dig into your knuckle and it hurts. The recoil of the gun is manageable. And you'll see, you know, in that little shooting video, I, what I was doing is I was trying to let it roll in my hand a little bit. And the reason was it's not for the recoil, but I was trying to get away from this sharp edge down here. I really don't like that. You know, if, if they would have changed that and, and made this without that sharp edge, I would say this would be an excellent, excellent firearm. You know, I like the, I like the unfluted cylinder. I think that makes it look neat. Another thing with this model is, is when they made it, the injector rod here, let me make sure I'm on camera. The injector rod is a little short. So when you, when you turn the cylinder and you're trying to eject the rounds, it doesn't come out enough that you can get the round completely out of the firearm. You have to reach in here and pull it out or you have to slam the ejection rod through it to get the, get the shells to pop out. And I, I don't like that at all. <laughs> to me, they should have made the ejection rod or at least kick out the shell the full distance but they didn't. So things that I don't like, I, I, this needs to be longer. And I believe on the new models, they've actually made this longer where you can inject the round. And I don't like, I do not like, I mean, this is sharp. I bet if I had a balloon here and I put that balloon next to that, it would pop it. It is that sharp. But other than that, I really like this firearm. You know, as you, I guess you can't have everything that you want. Another thing is the pin, you can't get it to come all the way out because it hits the ejector rod. I don't like that, but what I do like about it, I like the weight 
of the firearm. I like the way it looks. I like the way it shoots for a 44 Magnum. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, I don't know. I don't know what else to say about it. I mean, as far as the specs and everything go on this firearm, you can look them up online. I mean, they're going to give you the more in-depth specs than what I can give you. But just for sh for shooting, you know, for deer and hogs or even, you know, some distant shooting, this uh, Super Blackhawk does a real good job. So if you're looking for a, for a firearm, you're looking for a 44 Magnum, the Ruger Super Blackhawk is, is recommended. It's a fun gun to shoot. I mean, looks nice. <laughs> While I'm sitting here kind of running through the cleaning of it, you know, I thought, well, maybe I could think of something else. But overall, fun firearm. I'm glad I purchased it. There's, you know, if I had a chance to buy one again, like I said, I would probably buy the one with the, the rounded trigger guard. To me, it just, you know, it makes more sense to have the rounded trigger guard. I think if the engineers, when they actually designed this firearm, would have, would have thought about it a little bit or shot it a little bit, they would have taken that right off there because that is not fun. All right, well, there it is. There's what I like, there's what I dislike. Hopefully soon we can get some videos where we're making some 44 special ammo. Hopefully, you know, soon we can get some, get some good quality lead and I can go ahead and cast some uh, bullets for this boy. So we can go ahead and shoot some 44 special through it. Cause shooting 44 special through the, through the firearm is fun. I mean, that's, that's where the fun comes. You know, shooting those 44 Magnum loads, especially those loads there, they're a real hot 44 Magnum load. You know, they're, they're, they have the intended purpose for hunting. I mean, that's why I have them. So, but shooting 40, 44 Special through this is, is fun. I mean, it's, it's a whole lot funner than shooting those 44 Magnums. But you know, you, you can't go wrong with saying, well, I should shoot a 44 Magnum. <laughs> Well, there it is, guys. Quick little video on the on the Ruger Super Blackhawk 44 Magnum. If you all have any questions about it, just leave them in the comments below. If anybody knows what year that they changed the frame size on it, comment below because I'd like to know. But I think this one here, like I said, was was made in 2002, maybe even 2001. But you know, uh, I know the frame size is different because of the grips. Because the first set of grips I bought didn't fit it. There it is. Beautiful firearm, fun to shoot. Hopefully we can uh, start casting some 44 Magnum, uh, 44 caliber bullets, start shooting some 44 specials through this from the, from the castings and have a lot more fun with it. This gun here doesn't get it, get used enough. It doesn't get babied enough. It doesn't, you know, it just doesn't get brought out very often, but every now and then I just like to bring it out and shoot a few rounds through it, make sure she still works and she still does a great job. There it is, guys. Appreciate you watching. Thank you.